Welcome back at 714 this morning. Small business owners in a few counties around here are ready to get back to work next week. But while their businesses have been closed for several weeks, we caught up with one woman who used her downtime to give back. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel shows us how that happened in a really great We See You KSHB story. Ray, good morning. Good morning, Taylor Lindsay. You know, the ban of large public gatherings really hit the catering business hard, but a local group of chefs, bakers, and caterers decided to come up with a new idea. It's quiet outside the Soiree Steak and Oyster House. You'll see the closed sign posted on the door. But inside is a different story. Smells of home-cooked meals and a little gospel music welcome you as you enter. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our day. As businesses are closed, these small business owners come together once a week to cook and bake free meals for seniors. We try to serve at least 30 seniors every week, if not more. Kenyatta Rollins has her own catering company, but when the pandemic hit, instead of giving up, she gave back. I started doing that, and then I ended up partnering with some of uh, girlfriends of mine who have their own businesses, so they've been donating their time, their money, and resources, and so it's just kind of spiraled out of control right now, So, but we're grateful for it. Small business owners coming together in a time of need. As God blesses me, I want to bless others um, and partner with these ladies. They feel the same way. Through donations, they've been able to serve more than 100 seniors for the past few weeks. It's really nice to get um, those thank yous. And um, then they want to donate as well. Then they start wanting to give back as well. So, you know, it's just a rippling effect. She says even just one meal can help make a difference in someone's life during these times of uncertainty. That's why she cooks with love. It makes you feel better. Um, it makes us uh, look better as a community. Um, it makes us look better as a, a country that we're all taking the little bit we have, putting that together and then expanding on it. So they actually go out to deliver these meals, Taylor and Lindsay, and you know, Mother's Day is on Sunday, so they have this whole event where they're making pies and cakes, all the good stuff uh, to celebrate the mothers here in the community. Taylor and Lindsay. Yeah, Ray, so much of this about this with businesses have been about sustainability. Like how long can we keep this up? Yeah. How long can we pay our employees? How much material do we have to do some kind of stuff? How long do they think they'll be able to keep this up? Well, because of the amount of support and donations they've received through this idea, they said that they want to continue to keep this going um, at least once a month, even when the restrictions are lifted. Wow. Back to you. That's great. Good to hear. Ray, thank you very much. Yeah.